Big figure, Gorilla, sign me up! DC Multiverse, Todd McFarlane, Gorilla Grodd! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel. And today on the channel, we're unboxing for the DC Multiverse line, Gorilla Grodd from McFarland Toys. But for all your DC figure needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Support the channel, click the link. Hey, buy something, you know, anything fun like that. Uh, thank you, Big Bad Toy Store. But Gorilla Grodd today. So we've talked DC Multiverse on the channel before. McFarlane, you see it in my figure hunting videos. I get a lot of comments in there. Hey, why didn't you pick up that Batman? Or what about this Green Lantern? Uh, once again, I'm not the biggest DC guy. I have my favorites. I love Green Lantern back in the day. Uh, there's a few I like. Superman, Batman, they're all right. But it's just they didn't capture my heart like Marvel did back in the day. And I'm a Marvel Legends guy. And I've got my gripes with the McFarlane line. Uh, it's so funny. I like the McFarlane Mortal Kombat. I like some of the McFarlane DC figures as well. It's just way too Batman heavy, way too deep cut heavy, and I just don't understand. I don't even have a memory of half the characters that are made. I have no idea they even exist. Just a different Batman to me. I think they need to flush out the line with a lot more people. I've said it many a times. Give me an old school, just a one-off Super Friends set of all the guys. I'll buy every single one of those. Give me the Super Friends. Give me the Justice League. Give me the Hall of Justice. Give me those that I had as a kid. In those incarnations, I'd sign up for those all day long, but... I got to pick and choose. I picked up the Death Metal Batman. I picked up that Superman uh, that looked like my Superman. I picked him up. And that's about it. There's not a whole lot that's going to pique my interest in these. Except when you throw a big gorilla with a gold-plated costume. A guy like me can't turn something like this down. I love gorillas. I love King Kong. I love that kind of stuff. I just love the look of this. We talk about toyetic. This is toyetic. This is what we're looking for out there. And uh, this is what I'm looking for out there, I should say. Uh, so I had to pick this one up. I don't really know a ton about Gorilla Grodd. I don't even know what Injustice 2 is. I'm assuming it's a video game. Could be totally wrong. Uh, but I know he is a Flash villain. I've never watched the Flash show. My dad's a big Flash guy. Uh, I'm not a big Flash guy. I mean, I know who Flash is. I remember the Justice League cartoon. I, I, I know Flash a little bit. But I don't know the whole history of Flash. I don't even know why he's feuding with this Gorilla Grodd. Why was, why was there such a huge blood feud between these two? How did they stumble across each other? Uh, I guess if somebody wants to tell me in the comments, they can. Uh, it just seems kind of weird. I believe he didn't talk, but then sometimes he does talk. Uh, I just have a very passing by knowledge of the character and i don't recommend or recommend i don't remember him being in this gold-plated outfit obviously it must be an injustice too i remember him being just like a, a naked gorilla just like your average zoo gorilla out there just chilling doing his thing wanting to be left alone eat some grass every once in a while you know that's that's the gorilla grot i kind of remember him being but just being smarter than your average gorilla but uh, i could be wrong so tell me in the comments if i am i, I probably am but we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll see where it goes from there. So here he is, Gorilla Grodd, a heavy big figure. You guys know we love big figures on the channel. Uh, big figures always catch my eye, like the Devastator or Earth-22 Batman, whatever they called uh, Devis Doomsday, basically, is who he was to me. He's always been Doomsday. Uh, but we saw that on the, we unboxed that on the channel. We're seeing that now with a Superman 2 pack. But I, that caught my eye. A big figure. I couldn't pass that up. I think that might have been the first McFarlane toy I bought. But love the blue background. I got to say, I love the blue background on this one uh, that, that is traditionally on these figures. DC logo, multiverse, Gorilla Grodd, all the usual suspects. McFarlane toys up top. On the side, you got a little window there. Gorilla Grodd, Injustice 2. Window at the top. Warnings at the bottom. And the back. So there it is. So now I like this. You see Gorilla Grodd back there. Did they finally take my uh, note? I can't remember or not. I know what. Uh, maybe it's the bottom part. It's probably the bottom. I always say you should show the figure. Don't show the cartoon images. That's what they're showing down here. Here's the rest of the line. It's all cartoon stuff. I don't like that. Show the actual figure so we know what we're looking for. But I do like this big uh, look to him right there. I don't think there's much here. Injustice 2, Source, Injustice 2 video game, 2017. So there you go. It's a video game figure. That's what I thought it was. So I'm right there. All right, I got to open this guy up. I should have probably pre-cut him, but I didn't get him unboxed. Away we go here. All right. Pull him out of the package. 
see what we're dealing with here. There's the old background. I do like that he comes with a stand. We talk about that with all McFarlane, be it Mortal Kombat, be it whatever. They come with a stand. I think that is a really cool touch. I also, I guess I like that they come with a card. I do got some gripes that there's nothing on the back. I wish there was a little bit of blurb, a little bit of something. See you later. I'll grab the stand later. See you later. All right, there's the card Gorilla Grodd comes with. Injustice 2 Video Game 2017. Let's see what it says here. Uh, real name Grodd, six foot three. For some reason, I felt like he was bigger than six foot three, but I guess not. Six hundred pounds, telepathic brute, Gorilla Grodd. So that does ring a bell that he was telepathic. I do remember that now that it says that. He has long sought to prove his peerless genius by subjug. Geez, big words for a guy like me. Subjugating mankind. He's gone so far as to form an anti-justice league. How rude. Uh, the society to once and for all smash the opposition. Using his intellect and telepathy, telepathy, Grodd enlists others in his mission to conquer the planet and fill void power left by Superman's regime. So there you go. So I do appreciate that a little bit. Uh, it's nice to get at least a little blurb to kind of see what we're working with. Give a little history of the character. For somebody like me that maybe doesn't know a lot of the character. So there you go. How about a little plastic prison? More of a dull gold, gold color than, I guess when you look at it in the package and you look at it under the bright light, it shines a little bit more. It's a little bit duller uh, in person when you look, have it in hand. But that's all right. I don't mind that. See you later up high. And we got a big figure here. Now, what are we going to have for articulation? How's this going to be? It's got a little stickiness to him. Very strange for a new figure to have some stickiness, but it's all right. Helmet does not come off. Nothing comes off. There's no accessories here. It's just uh, straight up him and his gold. Kind of gladiator outfit is really what this reminds me of. But you got that cool head articulation. That's You got a little up, down. You got a little side to side on the head. I kind of wish the mask or helmet came off, but maybe beggars can't be choosers. Uh, does he have elbow? So he's got elbow articulation, but it's really hindered by this uh, plating. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but... Uh, both sides, you're hindered by that pretty hard. So really not a lot going on there. He does have wrist articulation, both of them. Got the toes, of course, McFarlane. He's got the toe articulation. I don't know if it's ever really been needed, but it's there if you want it. Uh, you got knee articulation. Once again, not a whole lot. Not that a gorilla is the most flexible animal in the world, but uh, no articulation really there. You got the thigh swivel. Got waist, yeah. You got double waist actually. You got the uh, ab crunch. You got joints, so you can get some uh, movement out of the waist. The waist is probably the easiest to move. It's not hindered by the uh, armor, but not bad. I mean, is this my favorite character? No, I'm not super familiar with it. But you guys know I love a good monkey. I love the detailing on the armor too. There's a lot of detailing here. You got skulls on the side. You got the spikes on the side as well. He does have the uh, butter, a little bit of butterfly joints to him on the uh, arms and shoulder. Not a ton of movement, though. Not a ton of articulation. You're not going to be doing anything really, thing, really too fancy with this one. I'll use a Mortal Kombat stand because they're the same kind of stand. And I do appreciate a stand, especially on a top-heavy figure like this. you got to kind of arch him just right to get him to stand. But there he is. I like it. It's very gorilla-like. Uh, then you throw the armor on it. I mean, this is very toyetic, especially for a guy that likes gorillas like myself. Uh, I got King Kong from the old NECA line. You guys know King Kong. We all know King Kong. Uh, I had to pick this up when I saw it. It basically scales very well. I can see people using King Kong. You could buy up these NECA King Kongs and have a Gorilla Grodd army if you really wanted to. Uh, that's a very, very possible thing. They both got the screaming gorilla face. Obviously, this Kong has a... a much bigger head but very scales very well you could really use these as troop builders if you wanted to play the long game a little bit there's some walmarts and targets that are swimming in these but you know NECA traditionally doesn't go to clearance especially at target i've only seen it once in my life and that was the godzilla when they lost the godzilla line uh but walmarts do they will go to clearance we've seen super shredder we've seen a few other things actually we saw there was a redo a, a color color variation on this one i did see that one go to clearance so you could use that one either way I think if you're a big Gorilla Grodd fan, you're a big DC fan, I could see buying two of these Kongs to have on each side as kind of his enforcers or his team, something along them lines. Uh, so there you go. And then I grabbed the Superman. You guys know I bought this Superman. I like this one. When I think of Superman, this is who I think of. Here he is next to Gorilla Grodd, kind of for scale a little bit. So you can kind of see the scale of these guys. Bigger, bigger, or biggest, bigger, littlest? I, I don't know. 
And then even Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn has not left my desk. I don't know if he ever will. Uh, I just always like pulling him out, apparently. But you can stick him there. And uh, that's what I was kind of thinking about, putting him in my Mortal Kombat set, just uh, hanging over there, putting all my McFarland stuff together. And it's like uh, Gorilla Grodd entered the arena and took on Shao Kahn. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but not too shabby here. Not too shabby with this Gorilla Grodd. For 20 bucks, big figure, Gorilla figure, Count me in. I'm not the biggest uh, Gorilla Grodd fan. I'm not super knowledgeable on the DC universe, but things like this catch my eye, and that's good crossover because I can see people, let's say whoever it is, whatever DC character crossover it catches somebody's eye, it might make them delve into the comics, delve into the history, delve into the lore, and maybe buy some other figures. So it's not all half bad there. Uh, and I could see some of that going on with some of these Batmans. I'm sure there's people out there like me. Death Metal Batman, sign me up. I didn't go as far as to read the stories, but I bet you there are people is. There are people are out there that went out and bought the stories and learned the stories and traveled on, and now they're on different Batman stories, and it works. It's a different marketing uh, technique. It's one of the positives about all these deep cuts and these crazy Batman figures. Uh, but I still think McFarlane has some issues with this line. I feel like got a long way to go. Uh, but can't deny they're very good figures. They're very cool, and there's some cool designs out there. And I will continue to pick and choose and grab some of these as they come about, the ones that catch my eye. Want an old-school Justice League? Give me that, and uh, I'll be all in, like I said. But you guys tell me out there what you think about this. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that collect the DC Multiverse. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. Does this meet your gorilla expectations? Uh, is this very faithful to Injustice 2 if you played that video game? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new videos every single day and then some, as you guys are aware of at this point. So make sure you hit the old notification bell and be subscribed as we continue to march on to 10,000 subscribers. Once we hit that 10,000, we're going to do all kinds of celebrating on the channel. We're going to have some big giveaways, maybe some surprise videos, maybe a couple other things out there. So who knows? So make sure you're subscribed. And uh, for Gorilla Grodd, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.